Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be speaking on Windows Server 2022, installing it and setting up Active Directory for our lab. If you guys are new to the channel, you know the deal. Please like, subscribe, and share, and let's jump into the video and have some fun. Okay, folks, so we just went out to Google and all you have to do is go to Microsoft Evaluation Center and when you go here, we can click on Evaluation Center, which is the first link on Google. So let's go ahead and click on that. And once this uh, loads up, what we can do is I want to zoom it in and we can go to Windows Server, Windows Server 2022. And you can just go ahead and download free. So you can download the ISO right here where it has, says download the ISO. And when you click on this, you can fill all this out put whatever you want and hit download now. Due to the time I downloaded it already and I have it in my, I believe it's in my documents and it's in my HackspaceCon folder and it's right here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set this up together, install it, set up Active Directory and the whole shebang. So let's get cracking and learning. So what we're gonna do is install a new virtual machine I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Go ahead and hit recommended. I want to install this from a ISO file. I want to browse out to Windows Server 2022 and click on open. Let's click next. Here we don't have to worry about anything. We can just leave it all as default. We don't need a key because we're installing the evaluation copy. All right, so I want to put Windows Server 2022 YouTube. Okay, just so I have this YouTube. And I want to leave everything as is. 60 gigs is fine for me. And I want to go ahead and click on. I want to uncheck power on because I have to do some modifications to this VM. So I want to move this to our YouTube hacking folder. And I want to go ahead and not power it up. I just said I don't want to power it up. And I powered it up. So let's go ahead and give that a moment to do its thing. And then I want to shut this down and I'll go to settings. So we'll give this a moment. While this is cooking, I wanna show you guys what my what my uh, processor and the requirements are for this. Okay, so I have a 32 gig laptop. I have an i7 chip, which has 16 logical processors. And I have an SSD card here that's about a terabyte. So you know, CPU, memory, I have 32 gigs, and you can see I have like 20 gigs already used, so I may have to kill some stuff. So if we come over to what's taking up all my stuff, it's probably going to be, let's see, memory. Uh, it's gonna be Brave Browser 21. Why the hell does I have 21 things? But I'll, I'll kill that. All right, this is what I wanted to make sure I didn't happen, but I guess things happen for a reason, right? So if you get this message, server operating system setup failure, click OK and go ahead and shut this down. I wanna go ahead and manage or power, power off. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and power this down. The reason why this happens is because it has a floppy disk drive. So let's click on edit instead of power on and where it says floppy, remove this, okay? And while I'm here, I wanna go ahead and just add, what is it, eight gigs? I wanna do eight gigs of memory, and I'll do two CPUs, okay? Which is four processors, perfect. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and kill a few of these, not that, I didn't wanna do that. Oh, I already have it open here. So I wanna go ahead and kill Brave Browser, and then go ahead and kill a few things. Discord. I'm just going to go ahead and kill a few things so I can have some free space. Okay? Some free memory. Come down here. Let's see what else is cooking on here. Let's kill a few things. All right. Cool deal. So now let's go ahead and power this baby up. All right. So once we power this baby up, we're going to go ahead and install it now. So... Let's give this a moment. And while that takes a moment, I'll take some green tea. I always have this on the side. 
and just be prepared because while this is booting, click inside and hit enter to boot from the ISO file. So we'll give that a moment and we'll make this bigger just so we can focus here instead of everything else. And if you guys have any questions during the, the videos, just put it in the comments below. Please engage with me so I can try to help you guys out. And if you don't have any qu questions, just put a comment. Did you like the video? Do you, are you enjoying these videos? Because I'm doing this for you guys and I really hope it's helpful. Okay, so English, United States, just go ahead and hit next here and install. This install process probably takes around eight to 10 minutes depending on your processor speed and all that stuff. So once it's actually cooking, we'll let that do its thing and we'll resume. So here we'll do the desktop experience and go ahead and click on next. If you do the first one, you will just have core installed and you will only have a shell. You will not have a full GUI. All right, so the second one here, custom install Microsoft server operating system only, advanced, and the 60 gigs is fine, and hit next. We're gonna let this cook. This is gonna take a few minutes to do its thing and we'll resume shortly. Okay guys, so once it's done, it will reboot and prompt you to set up a administrator password. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my fancy password. Put whatever you want, make sure it meets the requirements and hit enter, uh, hit finished. <clears throat> so now we can go ahead and come up here and do a little control delete. However you wanna do your control delete and go ahead and log in. <clears throat> my voice is still a little crackly, so I apologize for that. I'm trying to drink my tea and all that good stuff, but sometimes it still cracks. All right, so we can see that it's online. We can say yes here, that's fine with me. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is, if you remember a few videos back, we set up the IP address space 192.168.100, right? So it's not 5 p.m. where I'm at, so I wanna go ahead and right click this and adjust time and date. And we can do Eastern Standard Time right here. And that's more like it. It is 8 p.m. or 8.07, so that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and install VMware tools. So we can right click on the virtual machine and install tools, okay? And the reason why you wanna do it because you can see this little box right here, we wanna make it full screen and have better quality performance. So once you insert the disk, you can go out to this computer and double click on the disk and it will set up the VMware tools. So once this is done, then it will reboot it one more time and then we'll get started installing Active Directory and making some modifications that we need to do. We may just stop once we're done with this and continue setting up Active Directory and the rest of the server in the next video. So we'll just give this a moment, we'll let this reboot, and then we'll continue in the next one. So now we can see this is pretty and big. If we hit finish here, we can hit yes. We're gonna let this reboot, we're gonna stop here, and I'll see you in the next one setting up the server and Active Directory.